Well, it's a very misty morning. Um, the weather forecast is for that to stay cloudy, but for the mist to clear a bit. Decided to come out today. Got the link leisure, nice Shimano Symmetry 500 reel. I'm going to be doing some link leisuring for Chubb. And I've also got lobworms with me, not only for Chubb, but also the outside chance of a large perch or two. We'll see how that goes. But first and foremost, really would like to pick up a few Chubb today. Got with me um, nice liquidized bread that's mixed with the krill bird seed you know my typical mix that I like to use a little bit of crushed garlic in this particular mix just brings out a nice scent trail along with the krill works nice so you get a kind of a spicy garlic and fishy krill shrimp um, scent trail for the chum which is quite nice also got a nice freshly baked loaf got lobworms maggots my ever reliable cheese paste and that's the krill garlic and milk powder cheese paste if you check my channel you'll see I've done a video on how to um, actually put that recipe together and make it uh, so if you want to know how that's made just look through my channel and you'll see that there's how to make cheese paste video it's a very very reliable cheese paste mix as well anyway that's the sum of it today I'm gonna mainly link leisure although I might change to a small feeder depending but we'll see how it goes it's just nice to be out again and yeah as I say nice conditions the actual mist should be lifting and hopefully there'll be some small river chub to be caught anyway gonna mosey on have a look at a few swims maybe trickle in a little bit of liquidized bread in a few of those and get fishing I'll see you guys soon
Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> First fish, and it's it's been slow today, but this is a good perch, and I mean a bloody good perch on the lobs. Looks a fairly decent fish to me, anyway. Oh yes. Ooh, I'll lose you. Oh, oh. God. Station here. Wow. Gosh. Oh, yes, yes, oh, I was just getting ready to head up, head off upstream as well. Oh, it's a clonker, it's a, it's a, it's an absolute beauty. Oh, I'll tell you what, I said to you, I wouldn't mind a big perch. What, what is it with a time saying stuff and it happens, I wouldn't mind a big perch. I don't mind if any decent, I hope been... oh. oh. Bloody hell. Excuse my swearing there. Oh. Oh, yes! Oh. 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 That's a, that's a, <laughs> I can think of worse ways to, to have the first fish of the trip. It's, I mean, it's been tricky today I fished quite a few swims in between having the camera on, on and off I've, I've been getting the odd knock on the worms um, switched down to a 14 in one of the swims just to see if the fish were being finicky because the, the river's low but it's coloured that's what I couldn't understand you know it was good enough for a bite um, and I've been getting basically taps on the cheese paste boom, 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 leaving it and it's not I fully believe it's chub I've, I've got no qualms in saying that it's chub and I've had it before where the fish will take the tip so far, not enough to strike it, and then just back off. Um, so yeah, so I think the chub are being a bit apprehensive, but what I'm going to do, um, I may head off upstream and um, fish a little bit into dusk and see if we can pick up a chub or two. But if we don't, oh my, guys, that is a perler. I mean, vividly marked. Wowzers. Oh, I'm really, really over the moon with that. Absolutely chuffed to pieces. Well, I said I wouldn't mind a perch today, didn't I? It's beginning to look a lot like perchmas with this kind of stamp of fish. Three pound fourteen ounces. Second largest perch I've ever caught, and my largest for this particular venue. <sighs> You're a bloody perler. <laughs> oh yes. I just draw myself back. There you go. Oh, isn't she a corker? Absolute. Donker! Yeah, well happy. Absolutely made up. Look at those beautiful markings. Oh, she is perfection. <laughs> yeah, yes. Let's keep her that way and get her slip back. But wow, absolutely thrilling moments like this make our hobby something to be treasured. 
Oh, just slipped her back. And um, yeah, ooh. whoosh! <laughs> Mind blown. Totally. What a fight. What a fight. Oh, she wasn't that well hooked. So lucky, just on the inside of the, um, not on the lip, but on the inside of the cheek. Whew. I just can't, that is just, you know, that is what makes fishing trips. You know, you take, you're rough and you're smooth and you, you take positives from every trip, be that ones where you don't catch. And obviously, I, you can tell I'm absolutely bubbling at the moment. That's my, um, blown my PB for this venue out of the water by 11 ounces. What chance of a four? I reckon. A good darn chance, a good chance. Oh, now if I can collect myself and calm down, I'm going to try and head up further upstream and see if I can get a chub or two. That would um, cap it off. I say cap it off, who, who am I kidding? That, that there is, is on its own. Um, it's enough to cap anything off. It's capped me off. My, <laughs> verbally, I'm stunted now. I, I just, oh, absolutely thrilling. Anyway, as I say, I'm going to head on upstream and um, see if we can get one of these chevin. They are playing playing tricky to today as well because they're getting bites on the cheese paste and the bread and they're backing off, um, you know, whittling the bait down and then leaving it. So who knows, we'll give it a go. Um, now it's getting to dusk. I'll see you in, a, um, yeah, in, the, in the next spot, although filming won't be quite as easy because it's getting dark and I can't really have the camera light on. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Lovely. Very nice. Short, sharp, powerful, sweet little fight. Oh yeah. So, say, pleasantly chubby chub. <laughs> uh, it's nice to get that one. Lovely bite there. Boom, boom, boom. You have to excuse me because I do have to conserve my batteries at times. That was a nice, nice scrap. It's a lovely area here. It's just a very st straight run, but then it bottlenecks. It goes into like a, literally like a bottleneck, as I've just said. And you've got some lovely features there. You've got debris across here. You've got even a, a lovely tree trunk here. And you'd expect perch and chub to be holed up under those kind of areas and literally that's where I've just cast. I've just had this particular chub form. Beautiful though. There we go, perfectly formed, short, dumpy, three pound five ounces. Lovely brassy enamelling to it. Just from that this bottleneck swim behind me, where it does go into a nice bottleneck and there's that nice sunken tree and lovely other bits of debris are very nice too. Always nice to get. Little trouble with cheese paste. <laughs> well, there we go. A little lively chap falling to the garlic krill and milk powder cheese paste, which you've seen on my other videos that I use and show how to make on my other videos on my channel. But yeah, just nice to. Oh, calm down there. It's just nice to get one from this particular swim where I had that other fish because it can normally be a case of you catch one then you need to move on. Anyway, I don't think this one's taking too kindly to me having him out the water, so let's get him slipped back, shall we? Pristine condition though, and who knows, one day it might even be a six pounder. It's a lovely young, clean looking fish though. Well, it is time to head off home. It's just those two chub, but what a nice way to finish the trip. Not massive chub, larger of those two, three pound five. And that other little one was a pristine little chevin, wasn't it? What's tricky today, though, for the chevin, the chub taking the baits, whistling them down. They can be, I always say this with chub, they can be as much greedy as they can be wary. And this has been one of those days where they've pecked at the bait, 
you know, taking it down to a certain size and just backed off, or just plucked at the bait and then backed off. It's been tricky, so it's nice to get those two chub, albeit not large fish. But I guess really, I mean, I say really, the pick of the bunch, the pick of the trip was that 314 perch. I, oh, I'm gonna have, gonna be dreaming about that tonight. Absolutely spellbinding, absolutely thrilling. Anyway, just got my uh, rod next to me. I've got all my rest of my gear packed up and I'm going to head off home. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, albeit, you know, it was a tricky session, but you've got some idea of the areas of river that I'm fishing and like to target, what features I like to target, and when the chub like to play ball, you catch from them. <laughs> but um, if you have enjoyed the video, um, please do click the like button and give it a thumbs up that would be really I say this every time but I really sincerely mean it that would be immensely appreciated and what I wanted to also say is thanks for your, everyone's continued support throughout 2016 and wish you all if I don't get another video out before Christmas I'd like to wish you all a very pleasant peaceful safe and healthy Merry Christmas and a strong start to 2017 and your continued support for this particular channel uh, would be greatly appreciated throughout 2017. It's been enjoyable having you all alongside me on YouTube, watching the videos, having your support, your comments, and uh, you taking the time to watch the videos. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the car, and <laughs> as I say, I'm going to be dreaming dreams of stripy sergeants and captains of the minnow shoals. Anyway, till my next video, take care and thanks again. Bye bye.